Hello, hope you're well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick little meal update, similar to some stuff you guys have seen in the past, but I definitely swapped a few things around. So let me show you. The meal prep isn't too exciting and I already did everything today. So we have white rice, cannellini beans, and steak. The rice was prepared in a rice cooker with a little bit of salt, some coconut oil, and glass bottled mineral water uh, cooked on low for about eight minutes. The cannellini beans are actually boxed. I'll show you guys that in a second. And I just chopped up some ribeye steak from Frankie's syringe meat, put a little bit of salt on it, and sauteed it in the pan. And then I used that pan uh, to warm up the beans. So this is the rice. It's Lundberg Farms organic white basmati rice. And these are just organic cannellini beans. I should probably uh, make this myself. Uh, the ones in the can taste a lot worse than these. These are actually pretty creamy, although uh, the box is a bit of a pain to open. You know, I'm trying to manage my time a little better and get some more sleep. Uh, otherwise, I would definitely prepare these myself. But uh, you know, these are decently affordable, quick, easy, good option. Uh, for a little dessert, we have our cookies chilling out in the freezer. Cookie doughs on the counter here. And I have some water kefir for this meal. Uh, this was actually made with Mountain Valley water. It's just in the Gerald Steiner bottle. And we just restocked 10 of these on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Hopefully I can get some more in this week and then just supply uh, whatever demand we need moving forward. So over here we have the digestive enzymes that I showed you guys in my enzyme video with some of the mastic gum. I think we'll actually take this uh, right now before the meal. That's what I typically do with my second meal. I, I did try out some uh, of this soluble fiber powder when I wasn't having any uh, beans or cauliflower with my rice and this kind of just gave me a stomach ache I didn't notice much of a difference or feel any better. Uh, maybe I'll try it out some more It's it's known as a prebiotic uh, So the similar meal to this in the past was with cauliflower, but I switched over to the beans because Cauliflower kept coming with flies and maggots on it and I kept wasting so much of it uh, This is just cheaper affordable and I'm actually enjoying uh, the beans a bit more than the cauliflower right now. So I usually like having a couple bites of food in my stomach before taking the digestive enzymes. Otherwise, they can be kind of acidic and caustic and cause diarrhea, uh, especially if you take too much. But since I already had a meal earlier in the day, I'm, I'm perfectly fine to take this pretty much as much as I want. Now, I might be sold out of this right now on organ supplements, but by the weekend, I will have two fresh enzyme blends for you guys. One is going to be this which is a macronutrient blend, which you should have with a meal that is composed you know, of adequate amounts of carbohydrates, fat, and protein. And I will also have a carnivore enzyme blend, uh, which is going to be predominantly protein digesting enzymes. And I'm not sure about the pricing on that yet, but it, it's gonna be substantially more expensive than this because the protein digesting enzymes are far more expensive. And this, we just take a teaspoon and then I'll swallow it down with the water kefir. And then for the mastic gum, I just take a handful of the tears. Usually I break them in my mouth, chomp on them a little bit, and swallow it down. If you want, have the mastic gum after the meal. Just let it sit in your mouth a little bit, and you can chew it like gum. That's actually a really nice way to clean your teeth, get a jaw workout, as well as aid digestion and have some antimicrobial properties. And the nice thing about the types of digestive enzymes like amylase, trypsin, chymotrypsin, pepsin, is they're naturally produced in the body and they don't have any taste of them at all and they don't really seem to alter my digestion in a negative way. It just breaks down the food quicker. If you missed the, uh, the SIBO CIFO video yesterday, this is definitely part of a, a natural component to uh, fix that. So this is definitely too much for one meal, you know, regardless of whether it's my first or second meal, but since it's my second meal, I'm definitely not gonna eat that much Sometimes I put coconut aminos on the rice. Not today. You know, carnivore keto diets might be great short term for some people. And for me, it definitely masked some digestive issues for a very, very long period of time. But now that I figured out, you know, probiotics, high quality foods, getting the right amount of macronutrients, I'm more comfortable, I feel a lot better, and my digestion is definitely on track. Hopefully, in a year or two, I can publish my new book, and uh, you guys can have 
a more in-depth understanding on what I've been doing the past few months. You know, on one hand, I wish yeah, I could eat normal foods, follow a normal diet, I guess be an NPC normie in general. Uh, you know, I mean, on the other hand, I've been like this all my life. You know, I was on a bodybuilding diet ever since I was in my teens. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there, probably at least a few million in the United States that, uh, you know, are in similar situations to me where, you know, they've had various health issues because of modern things, usually due to medical intervention. And I've said in several videos in the past, you know, if you have a problem that has taken months, if not years, to manifest itself, you can't expect itself to go away overnight. You know, if you're doing the right things, you should start feeling better in a matter of weeks to months. But the long-term fixing the problem, usually two, three, four years of being very strict and, and knowing what you're doing. You know, believe it or not, I never really want to eat the cookies or the candy after my meals, but if I don't, I just lose weight. And, and one very important thing I haven't mentioned, I think, is that putting on fat can actually help a lot with liver damage because the toxins from your liver also get stored in the fat. So if you put on 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds of fat, which is a substantial amount, especially on my frame, you know, it'll take stress off the liver and then the body can detox everything from, you know, spread out instead of just a super hyper concentrated amount in the liver. Now, let me actually show you guys one thing I was eating to help me uh, keep some weight on. Now, I'm inclined to believe these might be part of the reason I haven't been sleeping, but I'm not really sure. So uh, this is kind of expensive. I saw these in Whole Foods. Uh, Nelly's Organics Nutty Nougat. It's like $3 per bar, which is absolutely insane. And you know, I'm not a fan of the ingredients that much. And you know, I don't really think that this is the best option, but it tastes pretty good and it's very calorically dense. That's all I have to say. You know, for me, instead of having the best bars, I need something with a decent amount of fiber. And I mean, if you look at the ingredient list on this, cashews, brown rice syrup, blue agave, peanuts, yeah, there's a substantial amount of anti-nutrients and things that would inflame the gut. But, you know, if it prevents me from losing weight, um, you know, and I was a little bit lazy in making my cookies, you know, I did enjoy these, but I'm having a feeling, uh, you know, the chocolate in these is, is why I might not be sleeping that well. It could also be some allergens, but it's kind of hard to say. And definitely eating two or three of these a day for 10 bucks is not, to, not a good idea either. Maybe I'll have one, I don't know. You know, I, I could eat all the fruit in the world. I could eat sugar, I could eat rice, steak, but unless I mix like fat with sugar, nuts, add the linoleic acid in there, I just cannot gain weight. I just can't. So uh, maybe we'll make my own version of this and uh, the cookies as well. I'm speaking to some co-packer manufacturers to see if I could uh, do something like that for you guys, but it's just a little difficult as with anything related to business. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully uh, you guys have gotten some tips from my meals over the past few months, year or so. You've tried it out yourself, seen what works for you, and maybe you're feeling a little better. Uh, but you guys can go to frank defilecom to check out all the businesses I've mentioned. And if you'd like to support me further, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, if they charge $3 for this shit, I gotta charge like $7 for my best bars. Yeah.